Okay. Good afternoon, students. We are back again to agro science class. We have been dealing with soil. And in the last lesson, we treated what soil is. And we talked about the types of soil. And now we want to finalize on this subtopic properties of soil. Properties of what? Of soil. Well, when you look at properties of soil, yeah, it's divided rather into three parts. The properties of soil, there are three types. You have the physical and what? The chemical properties. The other one is out of it. So we are concentrating on physical and what? Chemical properties. And when you look at the chemical properties and physical properties, they have their various characteristics. Number one, physical properties. In soil, when you're able to touch the soil, what do you see physically? How do you feel it in your palm? How do you feel it when you touch it? What is the color like? And all that stuff. So those are what relates into what? Physical properties. Now number one, we talk about soil texture. How coarse or fine as soil what is. That is soil texture. Soil structure has to do with what? The aggregate arrangement of soil particles. How they are arranged. And that is why if the soil is not okay, the soil structure is destroyed, crops cannot do well. And of course, if the soil texture is not fine enough and the pore spaces of the soil are too loose, we discover that the plant also will not do well. Now, when you look at this couple parties, number three, we talk about what? Soil temperature. This text you are hot or cool. The soil is. When you look at sandy soil, when it's, when it's sunny, you discover that it's very hot compared to clay soil and loamy soil. And so that also tells on the resistance of various crops towards the temperature um, rate, whether it's high or low. So we talk about soil color. Soil color tells you the color of the soil. Last time I presented some soil to you and uh, we showed you clay soil, lonely soil and what? Um, sandy soil. I will tell you, we told you their characteristics and when you look at them, you discover that some of them have a variety of what? Colors. Soil consistency. How does soil stay from one area to an, another? When you move from one area to another area, which kind of soil will you see there? Will it still be the same color? I told you the other time, clay soil, when you go towards the water, the riverside, sometimes you discover that clay soil is greyish, greyish, as it is ash color. Now, when you look at it on the upper land, you see it is what? Red. That tells you soil consistency. How they, how they are different from one place to what? Another. Though they retain their characteristics. Now, chemical properties of soil majorly we see soil pH. That is alkalinity and acidity of what? The soil. The acidity and alkalinity of what? The soil. We see the pH scale graduated from 0 to what? 14. From 0 to 7 or 6.9 tells you the soil is acidic. From 0 to 3 tells you strongly what? Acidic. From 4 or 5 to uh, 4 to 6 there about that's which word is weak word acid. The soil is weak in acid in acidity. Now, when you graduate the seven the neutral points, but when you graduate from seven point to about 10, 11, it takes that the, the, the alkalinity is weak. But when you graduate further to 14, it tells you what it is strong. Now, having said that, when you can test soil pH of alkalinity or salinity of the soil. As it the soil by using litmus paper, majorly using what? Litmus paper. That is a useful way you can do that to check on it. We will do that later on in the lab. We follow it to the lab in a short while. Soil profile. This is the vertical arrangement of soil particles in sections and what? For reasons. When you look at it, it gives a preview of various kinds of soil present in that what? Area. Now, when you look at soil profile, you discover that it tells you how the soil are positioned as you go down the, the, the earth crops. What is important? 
the skills, the text to the kind of thought to be grown. This kind of thought you should grow in a very particular word, piece of land. It also gives you the kind of minerals, mineral nutrients present in the soil. That is it. And then it predicts the soil type in that area. Number four, it guides the farmer on the type of farming system to use. And then number five, it serves in putting all of right farm structures. So we are able to know how it grows the soil profile, mainly how the group is that we dig through the soil in rectangular shape, rectangular shape of maybe one meter by one meter, and then one meter deep. You'll be able to see the various conditions or differences in soil, from the dark soil to red soil, the one that meets up, and even sometimes you can even meet up other white colored soil, sandy soil in them, and then downward. So that is how soil profile looks. When you look at it, it turns from horizon zero to what? Horizon D. Horizon zero to what? Horizon D. Let's look at the diagram of soil profile. If you can see over here the diagram of soil profile. Here text you organic matter zone, horizon four. Over here plants plants can do weather well in this place, and there is a place where they can plant and they grow and work, do very well. The next level we call it top soil. In the top soil it has a lot of dead remains of plants and what animals, we call it alluvial deposits, that is horizon A. In horizon B, subsoil, we go further, this does not really support much of uh, uh, plants except for deep rooted crops that can somewhat get deeper into the roots, like big trees. Then when you look at parent materials, parent materials from uh, horizon C, this is another uh, aspect you need to know of factors that need to soil condition, you have what? The parent materials. And afterwards, you have the bed rock. So this is how soil profile looks like. And this is how it graduates. And so you should be able to understand that the properties of soil are very important when you are dealing with what kind of soil to do with and the kind of crops to grow. And the soil profile also tells you to know how to go about the uh, propagation and crop development and that. And when you look at also what we have on the board, evaluation, enumerate the examples of physical and chemical properties of the soil. So I'm going to give it to you a split soil profile. I just want you to do that so you can use it to refresh yourself. For the main assignment is take the cases, effects, and remedy of soil acidity. What causes soil acidity? Now, we want to round up at this point. What we are going to do now, you will follow me down to the agri lab and I will just get you involved of these physical properties, particularly the chemical properties, and what happens when you use lake moss paper and how do you also carry out one of the experiments and so So, just take back in a while. Let's move down to agri lab. Thank you. All right, um, welcome back to the lab. Here, yeah, quickly, we want to tell you the physical properties of soil and this soil. And over here, you have the sandy soil, the loamy soil, and what? The clay soil. Now, the soil texture tells you how coarse or fine the soil what is. When you touch this mineral soil, you discover that some of this sandy soil is coarse. By sandy soil, the soil texture. I'm you the characteristics of sandy soil. Now, when you look at the clay soil, this reddish in color, that also can lead to soil color. You can see that the sandy soil is savory in color. The clay soil is red or black, while the loamy soil is dark. That tells you soil color. Now, having said that, what do you also see in this? The various soil have the various soil structure, and sometimes the soil structure will be prismatic, will block uh, structure, it will plate or just that, and so that or clump um, structure. So that takes you the various form of soil water structure. 
Now, we talked about the chemical properties of soil. And over here, I, I have installed a uh, solution of soil mixed with various words, chemicals. This sandy soil is majorly used, but over here, we have sand with what? water. Sand with water. So it's neutral. There's no reaction to this. You need to find out when if you put your soil with various um, with various solvents and mix them together to get a solution, what happens? Now, when you look at this one, this is acidic. We mix it with sandy soil with hydrochloric water, acid. Why this is uh, uh, basic? We mix it with sandy soil with what? Sodium hydroxide. So, I'm going to use my litmus paper to tell you when you are testing for acidity and calamity of the soil. If the soil is acidic, what happens? And the soil is sandy, what what happens? Now quickly, let's see what happens when it is acidic. Use your word, red litmus paper. When it is what acidic. Now, I place this in this red litmus paper. And then let's see what happens here. Red litmus paper, sorry. I would have. Uh, okay. So, you can see that over here, the acidity does not have any con any change on red litmus word paper. When you put your red litmus paper on the on that that has what uh, uh, hydrogen sodium hydroxide, it will turn the red litmus paper so blue. Okay. So when 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 the solution is soil, you test it, it turns to blue. That tells you that that soil is what alkaline. That soil is alkaline. That soil is alkaline. That tells you the alkalinity of the soil. Now, quickly, when you use your blue litmus paper and then set it on the on on the same hydrochloric, sorry, sodium hydroxide, there will not be change. There will not be change because it's alkaline. You can see that. But you you put it back to the solution of sandy soil with hydrochloric acid. It will give you what the red. Uh, it will turn the blue litmus paper what red. Okay, you can see what has happened already. This blue has turned to what red. So that tells you that that soil is what acidic. So having done that, that tells you how the chemical properties run in this way. To round up, you will have various practical. But I'm going to just illustrate this one to you. And when you look at this, this has to do with soil porosity. Soil porosity. So the water holding capacity of soil. That is what that is how you, you, you present when you set up the experiment. Over here you have the Peter paper and this is a, a clay soil already the part can be done with just to illustrate. And this uh, you have your, uh, your your cutting wood placed right in the corner and then uh, resting on the cylinder. And that is to help you to put in your measure of water. And uh, when you do that, you discover that in this one will have a higher percentage of water, higher volume of water, this sandy soil. If you have higher volume of water over here compared to your loamy soil over here, and then less water volume on your clay soil. So this is what happens when you want to check the water volume capacity of soil. I believe we are done today and they have so much appreciate. The, so the lesson on soil and the soil properties and as well as soil profile. See you next time. Do well to attend your assignment in the classroom and God bless you. Stay safe, stay positive, stay healthy. Thank you.